Some people like very strict training plans, but for me it doesn't really work. I'm just too random. So when I'm not following a training plan, here is something that I often do to motivate myself. I really like having a visual way of tracking my progress during a workout. So I'm going to take a clipboard and a paper and basically draw out all the exercises that I'm going to do. Then I can just cross them off almost as if I was using a to-do list. Today I want to do 50 pull-ups with 32 kilos of extra weight. I'm going to pick two relatively difficult sets, let's say seven repetitions. And I'm going to do two sets of those and all the rest will be somewhere between one repetition and five repetitions. And I can do these sets in whatever order I choose and I can keep as long breaks as I want to. But I'm going to give myself a 30 minute window in which I need to complete the entire workout. Okay, let's begin. So, two sets of seven. Let's put seven there and let's put seven there. Okay, so it's 14. Then let's have a set of three, set of two. So that's 45. And then, okay, let's have one more set of five. So this should be 50 repetitions. Two. Seven. Okay, I think the second one of these is not gonna go, but maybe maybe I'll do that in a chin-up grip. We'll see. Okay, it's time to introduce the liquid chalk. So next is a set of five. Still gonna go with the pull-up grip, but if, it, if this gets way too difficult, then I'll just switch to chin-up grip and try to finish the workout that way. But Let's see how far I can get with the pull-up grip. Just one. One. Two. We're easily past halfway now. Uh, and the hardest thing is going to be next. So it's another set of seven. The first one felt really, really difficult. So uh, I'm gonna do this in a chin up grip. So with my palms facing towards me because I'm stronger that way. And hopefully I'll be able to make it. And then if it feels all right, I'll try to do the remaining sets 
with a normal pull-up grip because that was the idea of this exercise in the first place. But this one, chin-up grip, let's see how it goes. My record with this weight is with a chin-up grip, I think 10 repetitions, I think I've done 10, but that was when I was fresh, not after 16 or 17 minutes of pulling. But yeah, let's see how, what happens. Yeah, I can definitely do the last one. <sighs> yeah, I'm just so much stronger this way. Seven. Okay, that leaves me with 10 minutes to finish the uh, remaining sets. And I'll try to do those with a normal grip. Okay, I'm going to eat my words. I'm gonna do the rest in a chin-up grip. This is just not gonna work otherwise. Okay, next is chin-up grip, a set of five. It's gonna work. That was four. So when this happens, what I do is I wait a little bit and then I finish it. This is going to be a total farce. I have a bit over five minutes time and I need to do two sets of three and one set of five. And of course the whole thing kind of falls apart at this point because I have very little time so and I, I'm not able to do three, three and five. So it's going to be one, two, one, one, whatever. But now I'm just switching everything into another mode. I need to do 11 pull-ups before the clock hits 30 minutes. Okay, whatever grip, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna do them in chin-up grip, it's otherwise, otherwise I have no chance. Whatsoever, so five minutes, 11 pull-ups, chin-up grip. Let's go. There's two, nine to go. One. Eight. Eight to go. This is, this is what it looks like when you're failing and you're still trying. But I think that's the 
that's the point of this thing. When I mark the things on the paper and I set myself a time limit, I'm not sure if I can do that. I have a basic feeling that it's right there in the kind of the zone of doable, but everything depends on the day and everything. What? Is this it? This is it. That's the that's the final one. Okay, so we're gonna make one more change in the end. Weights off. Finish this without weights. Back to normal pull-up grip. Two and a half minutes time. I forget how much, how many I needed to do. Let's go for 10, 10 reps. Uh, it's five. Not feeling good. Six. Okay, I'm wait. Four to go. I didn't want to do more in the previous set because my feet are coming up. Technique is all over the place. I'll try to do four clean ones once I have one minute left. One, two, three, rest. And one more. Final one, chin up grip, 30 seconds time. So, it was a failure, but there's success in every failure like this, because in the end, that was a pretty good workout. You can use this method with pretty much any exercise. The more you use it, the better you will become in estimating what kind of sets are challenging enough, but doable for you. And don't worry if you end up failing your workout. That just means that you've challenged yourself really hard.